Hello guys and welcome to a new Steel Division video today by me Vulcan. Today I have for you a 3 versus 3 on St. Maricles and in this one I'm playing with the Guards Armoured. So I haven't played the Guards Armoured in a lot of while and I wanted to take the Cromwell 7 for a spin so let's see how we do. Looks like uh, Schmini today he's going to be playing with me in this one. He's going to be taking the first SSB to the mid. And on the left side, we have the Barbarian with the 4th Armoured. On the opposing side, we have Super Knife, uh, Doe, and uh, Atlas of Clouds, who are playing the 21st Panzer, 17th SS Panzer Grenadier, and the 352nd. I'm sorry if my brain's a bit slow today, but it is pretty late, and uh, I just thought I'd jump on for a game, get a video for you guys. So here I am. <laughs> Let's uh, get the Cromwell 7 down. We'll try and make good use of that early on. I really like the Cromwell 7. I think it's a very strong unit. Don't see it too much in competitive play. Not straight at the beginning of the match anyway. Um, but I definitely think it's a decent tank and I rate it quite highly, honestly. Um, so let's get these troops down if they want to go down. Thank you very much. Um, we're going to get uh, some rifles into these buildings. And then it's quite simply just a matter of having... The command infantry move up there as well uh, with the Cromwell 7. So we're going to keep it relatively light. We could also bring in like Crusader AAs at the start though. I think I might actually do that. It's an interesting, interesting thought. I might be able to use the Crusader AA to sort of pin down infantry and AT guns pretty quickly. I think I'll bring in a Sexton at the start as well. Like We can keep this quite contained and quite uh, concentrated. If I just put one unit of rifles on the left side there, we'll have some motorized rifles here. A um, couple more squads. That should be enough, really. So we can have those guys just move up here and unload. Not many people actually push across this open area, but if they do for whatever reason, I can always bring up a six-pounder. Let's try this. I'll have the sexton there ready to shoot at any AT guns. We'll try and pin things down. One thing that might be worth having instead of two units of motorized rifles might be Humber with Reki. Yeah, I feel like that's a good shout. Driving at full speed. Okay. Roger. The Sexton, we may as well just move him into this orchard. Get that motorized rifle to take up that building instead of the rifles. Okay, so an interesting start. Um, but definitely one that I'm relatively confident with. One interesting thing about the Guards Armoured is, although they don't have fantastic veterancy like the 7th Armoured, um, they still provide some pretty strong units in Phase A. For example, the Cromwell 6 here, the Cromwell 7, they've got a Sexton in Phase A. That anti-air is also pretty decent for Phase A. So, yeah, a lot of interesting things that you can make use of. And if I get these Crusader AA Mark IIs in early, I might be able to use my Spitfire Mark IX bomber and maybe bait some air engagements. So we will have a look at what happens throughout the game. We are going to be starting in 1 minute and 10 seconds. A lot quicker than the last live gameplay that I recorded. Hopefully uh, Schmini can do some work with the first SSB in the town. Ideal division really uh, for that sort of engagement. And on the left side we'll have to see how the Barbarian does with his Hellcat gameplay. Looks like he is bringing in that Hellcat in phase A, like straight off the bat, which is definitely good for this sort of open range engagement um, in this area. I could bring in a church, uh, Cromwell 6 and try and push across here, but that's going to rely on quite expensive recon in order to do that which is why I haven't chosen to go that route like I could lightly defend this right side and then just kind of go double scouts and Cromwell 6 push across the open but like I said it's very expensive due to scouts coming in the universal carriers here also the scouts cost 25 points on their own probably one of the weakest points about uh, the guards armoured in uh, the early phases at least it's just expensive recon across the board, which can make it difficult to spot the AT guns that can do a lot of damage to your tanks. Right, off we go. Sexton's going to be moving forwards. I'm very tempted to sort of start arting this road straight off the bat. It might delay 
any infantry. It might even allow us to put sharp even further. I'll have to see if it uh, affects what we're up against. Got to wait and see which division we're up against as well. That will definitely be telling. But the idea here is that this will land and then basically cause units to unload on the road early. Like it might have worked. That's interesting. I didn't expect it to work. It looks like it might have. Alright, let's unload those guys. Yeah, it definitely looks like it's worked. Interesting. Unload these uh, recon here, get them into the tree line. Put the Cromwell forwards as well. Bitrup got killed very quickly there. Okay, good. So we've made a lot of progress on this right side. We're actually up to 56% territory. It could be down to Super Knife being a bit delayed on his push, but let's bring up a Stuart anyway, just to assist this push. Need to get this recon forwards if I can. We've got to see what we're up against, and I've also got to get some more recon in. Right, we've got line of sight onto that, so that's good. See if we can take it out. Need to assign this on Group 1. While it's not firing, it can move up a little bit further. But yeah, we'll just assign that to control group one. That's excellent, so I have it ready to use. Now we do have a plane coming in. Just as well I brought in that AA early on. Should make that a lot less accurate. Might even get the kill. Nearly did. Okay, that's pretty good. Continue the push here. Try and get some more recon in. How much money doing in the town? Seems to be doing okay. The barbarians pushed across the 50 50 as well. Taking these buildings though, for me, is very, very good. Radio does help us out. Wow, those Panzer Grands getting ripped to shreds by the Crusader AA there. I mean, the lag that uh, Superknife is having at the moment could be affecting the way he's playing. It's an AT gun. Take out that, please. Oh, wow. That artillery shell landed right on the Kubo and blew it up. That's fantastic. All right, the lag is definitely <laughs> becoming an issue. Let's get uh, another recon squad in here. With that extra 35 points, we can afford a motorized rifle. Uh, just not sure where I'd want to put it, so I'm not going to bother bringing it in just yet. Actually, I guess we could. It'll give us another half track to work with, and that's no bad thing. I'm going to have those rifles start moving forwards. Wake up, boys! It's not tea time. Right, we want to try and target this tree line so that when the pack 38 comes in. gets hit and we'll probably just preemptively fire in between the tree line and the AT gun. I think Superknife wanted to kind of fall back there a little bit with it but well that's going to be the best bet for him. I'm going to bring in my own AT gun soon. Should help out a lot. Another infantry squad getting wrecked. Need to make sure my command's following up. Wanted to afford myself an AT gun, didn't I? But we'll get our scouts in for now. Ooh, that view factor for range on that, probably letting it down quite a bit. Back wheel destroyed is good for us. It will allow me to take it out. 
continue the push with the uh, units here. That uh, is not going anywhere. Back 38, so we'll continue to push through. I want to be a little bit careful with how this Cromwell attack moves forwards. We're also going to have to be careful not to peek this tree line because there's definitely a unit behind there that can do a lot of damage. That is an ME109 that's flying right over my AA. Probably get, going to get killed, honestly. Yep, it's dead. Good old double Crusader AA. Oh, nice. Uh, that is a Patel. Panzer. Get this motorized rifles up into range. Oh, nice. The one shot bailout. That's perfect. Okay, time to push far past the tree line then. Motorized rifle leader coming up. I think we got another rifle leader on the way, don't we? Let's just have that one unload next to my Cromwell. Super knife's being defeated. Alright. Well, <laughs> sometimes this happens, I guess. Unfortunately, it is very late, so I probably won't have time to play another one, which means I'll have to show you guys this game. But, I mean, we'll try and talk through strategy a bit more. I think it mainly comes from, like, the start of the game whereby um, I chose to push the right side heavily rather than across the open here. Like, I haven't even got an AT gun here, so there's that. Shame that the 352nd player gave up as well, though. On the far left side. Yep, that's it. GG. 6 minutes, 29 seconds. Pretty convincing. Didn't lose a single unit. 620 kills to zero losses. Well, <laughs> I didn't actually realise it was that good and going that well. Um, apparently it was, uh, but that's how you do it. Look at that, losses tab. I don't think I've ever seen that. Crazy. Um, so yeah, pretty damn good victory. Bringing in both those Crusader AAs early on paid off, not only for preventing the bombing strike from not being very accurate, but also killing off the ME109G0 worked out quite nicely. So yeah, that's just a short uh, game there, but no no losses, which is yeah, not something that I've ever seen. Not personally, anyway. I've seen other players do it in games that I've played in, but I think that's a first for me. That guard's armoured can be very, very strong indeed. Well, that's all for now, guys. Hopefully you've enjoyed it. Thanks for watching, and I'll see you in the next video which will hopefully be a bit longer. <laughs> Goodbye.